Hi everyone. Welcome to Smart Classroom. This is Mahmoud Suhail Mundore. Welcome to our new lecture. Today's topic is Coulomb's law. Let us take two charges Q1 and Q2 having same magnitude, either both positive or negative, separated by a distance r. Then they repel each other. The force F12 is the force on Q2 due to Q1. The force Q1 is the force on Q1 due to Q2. The force F12 and force Q1 are equal in magnitude but opposite in direction. The unit vector R12 is the unit vector from Q1 to Q2. Coulomb, the French physicist, done a lot of research on this in the 18th century. Coulomb find out the following relationship that the force is proportional to the product of two charges and inversely proportional to the square of the distance between two charges. The relation F12 equal to Q1 Q2 K divided by R square into a unit vector R12 where K is the Coulomb constant. The SI unit of charge is Coulomb represented by capital C. One coulomb of charge is the tremendous amount of charge that is larger than you ever seen in your lifetime. We normally work with micro coulomb or nano coulomb. The charge of electron is exactly equal to the charge of proton that is 1.6 into 10 to the power 19 coulomb. One coulomb equal to 6 into 10 to the power 18 times the charge of the proton or an electron. The Coulomb constant K equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square, where K equal to 1 divided by 4 pi epsilon 0, where epsilon 0 is the permittivity of free space. This relation is parallel with Newton's gravitational relation, except that the gravity is always attracting, it is not repulsion. But in the case of Coulomb's law, the force is either attraction or repulsion, depends upon the charge. The force F in gravitational field is small m capital M G divided by R square. But the same force in electric field equal to Q1 Q2 K divided by R square into unit vector R12, where capital G is the gravitational constant, where K is the Coulomb constant. The capital G, the gravitational constant equal to 6.673 into 10 to the power minus 11 Newton meter square per kilogram square, where the Coulomb constant K equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 Newton meter square per Coulomb square. Let us consider a third charge Q3 in the above case. Now we want to find out the net force on Q2 due to Q1 and Q3. To find out this, we have to use superposition principle that is the vectorial sum of other two forces. That means total force on Q2 equal to F12 plus F32. As per Coulomb's law, force on Q2 equal to capital K into Q1 Q2 divided by R12 square into unit vector R12 plus Q3 Q2 divided by R32 square into unit vector R32. So in this case the superposition principle is very useful and very powerful. Next topic compare electricity with gravity. If you compare the electricity with gravity then you will realize that the electric force is more powerful than gravitational force. I will show you that. Consider two protons separated by a distance d, they repel each other. Force due to electric field equal to q1 q2 k divided by d square. The charge of the proton is 1.6 into 10 to the power 19 coulomb. The coulomb constant k equal to 9 into 10 to the power 9 newton meter square by coulomb square. In the case of a gravitational field, the force of gravity that Fg equal to small m capital M G divided by d square. The mass of the proton is equal to 1.7 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram and the gravitational constant G equal to 6.7 into 10 to the power minus 11 
newton meter square per kilogram square just substitute this value on equation number one and two and take the ratio of electric force with gravity then you will get force due to electric field divided by force due to gravitational field is approximately equal to 10 to the power 36 that means the electric force is 10 to the power 36 times stronger than the gravitational force 10 to the power 36 means 1 after 36 0 now you can realize that how strong the electric field is compared with the gravity now we will just compare the acceleration of proton in electric field and gravitational field the acceleration of proton in the nucleus is a equal to f divided by m from where we will get this relation we already studied in the plus one syllabus newton's laws of motion f is equal to m a from that we will get acceleration is equal to f divided by m here f is the electric force and m is the mass of the proton 1.67 into 10 to the power minus 27 kilogram by calculating this we can see that the acceleration of proton is 10 to the power 26 times higher than the acceleration of earth around the sun the next topic electrostatic force between earth and moon let us consider the earth and moon having charges of 10 coulomb you just take the earth has plus 10 coulomb and moon having minus 10 coulomb respectively as per coulomb's law the electric force between two bodies is inversely proportional to d square that means if we increase the distance double then electric field will reduce by one by fourth in this case the distance between the earth and moon is very large it is approximately equal to three lakhs eighty four thousand and four hundred kilometers if the distance is very large then the electric force between the earth and the moon is very small that's why the behavior of the universe in the large scale is detected as gravity and the electric force between the earth and moon is almost negligible next topic measurement of charge we will use the various instrument to measure the charge in a quantitative way one of the instrument is electroscope electroscope it is very simple instrument it consists of a conducting rod made of aluminium at the bottom end two pieces of thin cells made of aluminium foil and other side have a nice knob if i touch with a charged object then because of that touch they can conduct charges if i touch with a positive charge they will become positively charged when i touch with a negative charge they will become negatively charged you can see here two lightweight pieces of aluminium foil will repel each other more charge on the thin cell they repel more this is the way of charge measurement in electroscope that's all for today if you have any query regarding this topic you can comment me under the comment section if you like this video please subscribe and share to get all our notifications and updates don't forget to press the bell icon thanks for watching see you next time